this is the next part in the video so in this video I will be talking about defining the this blend between the roof and the side window more and also this service here we gotta extend it um, a bit back so let's get straight into it we go edit your feature switch to the right view okay this line we need to go edit and we gotta detach from that line if you hold shift and drag drag it away and drag it back down and to extend this curve here hold shift and a alt and click okay that didn't work we, um, that means we just need to activate the right view switch to the right view edit that curve again hold shift and alt and extend the curve so just quickly fix that curve there make sure the proportion is good proportion is important and also on the top view drag it to the right Just check the proportion uh, make sure the curve is natural okay it's getting a bit laggy all right accept that okay what's next okay now let's switch to the front view here this surface it's um, bending down too much at the top uh, we gotta fix that so we need to define the surface a bit more so delete that and add more curves, curves. so hold shift and click on on the curve to make it uh, snap to that curve and also do that here and accept that but actually before that we gotta extend this curve to the end here I'll go to edit curve and click on the end point go to the right view here hold shift and ALT and click it closer to this point to extend the curve we just extend that curve there and also we gotta drag this point make it snap onto this curve so just drag it over actually we we'll snap it to this one and drag it to the end there and it should be like that okay so the, so the two curves before let's move that to the end one more thing about this curve we gotta like select the this point put the surface curvature and when it shows two green surface it says uh, you need to select the surface to be tangent with you want it to be with this one and accept and do the same for this one here go edit curve and drag it to the end click this point switch curvature to surface curvature and select the appropriate surface and also check check the top view as well and I want to make this one more round okay that doesn't look right up here okay so just make it 
drag it this way drag it that way and that that should be better okay now go to click on surface and select this all four curve okay there you go and make sure this is on curvature um, there's another way to, there's uh, another way but it's not right if you only select this two as a chain and two here as a profile there's no option for blend here so if you select four chains for in one go you can adjust the tangency on the edges so now let's check again okay it doesn't seem to be that round there what we can do we can edit that curve one more time put it that way a bit more okay that should be all right we, we need to trim trim some of it off as well all right you should be up to here now okay um, we gotta do one more step for this surface we need to extend it down so it cuts onto the bonnet so let's go to let's bring the full view up Okay, so you go to curve because this curve here connects to this line and that end point can't be extended down. We gotta draw another curve here. Make it about that long. Press the middle mouse button and also create another curve here. Actually, one should be enough. So, accept and go to edit drag the point to the end and make sure on the other views it's um, flows naturally also click on this point here switch that to curvature curvature means it blends with the curve on the top Okay, something like that, that's fine, accept that and go to surface, click that line and also select the profile and extend that down. So that surface is extended onto the bonnet there. Alright, we're going to start the next bit here switch on we gotta trim some of the fenders out so switch on the front plane to draw a curve on the front view click on curve and go to the front view start drawing this line a bit further down and make it follow the line on the I don't know what that's called some sort of window mount accept that and go to edit to fix the curve i like to use the control points delete the unnecessary unnecessary points and we gotta drag go to the right view drag it to where it should go so this curve, if you hold Control and LT, it snaps on. Um, it, I mean, it's uh, constrained horizontally or vertically. So switch to wireframe to so you can see past past the surface. And also be aware these curves are at the front of the car. It means um, it's very visible. So it will 
Um, it's yeah, it's the first thing people see, so make sure it's nice and clean. So take care when you're working on curves that are easily seen, curves and surfaces surfaces at that easily seen. Okay, now to switch to the top view. Click a new curve and this time we'll draw, we'll draw it starting from the end point there. And this curve will be attached to that line. Except that, go to edit. Uh, the end of that curve needs to go Make sure this curve atta attaches that one and drag it to the end point there and also switch on the control points. This curve is a degree 5 curve because there's um, it's quite complicated. There's a number of bends. So switch to degree 5 and delete some points. Let's delete this one and drag it up, match, make it match the blueprints. Okay, so try your best to make it look like the blueprints and also check the top view as well okay that's good now put on the shaded view Okay, so we're ready to do some trimming. Select these two curves, hold control to select both of them. Drop them onto this surface and also this one. So it should create an orange line. Okay, so it's, we gotta switch to the top view so it doesn't create the strange lines. You can select the top view here and it should create the orange line here. That looks fine. So select the surface and trim. Click on the line, this line as well. And we're gonna remove this bit. And select this surface. Uh, sometimes you can't select them. You hold right click and click pick, pick from list. And you can choose the surface there and trim this surface as well. Trim that away and you should have something like this. Okay, so the roof is nearly finished. Actually, one more thing before we go. We just need to delete this surface here. The roof now needs to delete this curve as well. The roof needs to attach to the, the blend there. Switch to your other views to check, make sure that it's fine. Okay, this curve needs to be up a bit more. Click on this curve, that point. and drag it up slightly so there should be a nice uh, slight bend there so this is very visible so make sure it's 
Uh, it's a nice curve. So you don't want it twisting different ways, it should be just a curvature one way. So just like that. That's that's important. So uh, we'll make the surface for the roof. And that will be the last step for this video. So accept your curves and click on create surface. Select the four curves and leave this on position so we, we don't want it to blend across and that's it for this video um, next video is coming up see you later